Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the word automation series with UiPath. Let us see what exactly we are going to do today in the word automation. Okay, so I have this word document in front of me. The name of the word document is RPA underscore sample and which is located in my this location D data and the word file. Okay, so if you are noticing something all the places I have highlighted something which is called underscore tech, right? So let's say this is an entire big document or a piece of document which I have received and I need to replace this tech with some word, right? So in this case, we need to replace the tech with RPA, right? This document is all about the robotic process automation. So robotic process automation in the bracket, we need to write RPA. Here we want to write RPA tools have a strong technical similarities, unassisted RPA or assisted RPA, right? So we want to replace all the underscore tech with a value which is called RPA. Now, this same concept can be used whenever you are working with templates. For example, in one of our automation where we were generating the offer letter for the candidates, the offer letter was exactly the same we had to only replace the text with the candidate name, his salary information, right? So this was the same concept we used in generating the offer letter, right? Where you have a text which you need to replace with a new value, right? Now let us see how exactly we can accomplish this task in UiPath Studio, okay? I am back in my UiPath Studio. I have a automation open in front of me. The first thing to do with the word automation is that in your dependency, you should always have UiPath.word.activities available. If this is not available, you won't be able to do the word automation with UiPath. In the first video of the series, we have explained that how you can use this, right? Now, moving forward, if I go to the activities, the first activity which you want to drag and drop is called the word application scope, right? So what is this word application scope? This will provide a scope for the word activities. I simply drag and drop the word activities on the panel, right? Now you would see it is asking me for tell me the document path, right? So this is where my document is available, right? I will just take copy as path, right? The other option is you could always go and use this browse file as well. I'll just paste it here, right? So I am telling UiPath that I want to do the automation in this word file. It has got a couple of property which we have also explored. In case you are not aware of, I'll put the links in the description for your reference. Okay, now what activity should I use to replace the text, right? So if I go back to the automation and in the activities app integration word you would see that I have an activity which is called replace text in the document just drag and drop this activity here which simply means replace the text in the document now it has two properties the first one what do you want to search for right so I go here and I simply want to search this one this is where I am telling UiPath that you search for this text which is underscore tech. Now UiPath will ask me what should I replace it with, right? So I simply want to replace it with a value which is called RPA, right? Now that is done. Now a thing to remember here, these things as of now for this demo I have hard coded. In the real time automation, these value can be from a variable it can be from an argument as well right so all we have to do is we just pass the value here and the next value what do we need to replace with here if you again go to the properties you would see that both of them are of type string right so a string variable or a string argument would work here right now replace all by default this functionality and this button is tick which means that it is going to replace all the instances wherever it is finding the tech. Let me quickly do a save and go here simply go here and I say run the file. The robot has started and you would notice it has replaced all the underscore tech with a value which is called RPA right so that means it was successfully able to replace all this text in the document now 
there might be situations where i do not want to replace all the occurrences or i simply want to replace only a single occurrence right in the same activity if you see i have this button which says replace all right so by default this checkbox was checked if i simply uncheck this option go back to here and you could see that this has already been done so i'll hit control plus z and i'll again save the document right so we are back to the document where everything is underscore tag now what change i have made i have simply removed the replace all checkbox now if i simply save everything go here and run the file right last time it replaced everything but this time it will only and only replace the first occurrence right only the first occurrence would be replaced if you want to replace everything just go ahead and select replace all right there is one last property of this activity which is called the output right so basically whenever you are writing a consecutive piece of automation i wanted to know whether the previous activity was completed or not or the word which i was searching was available or not right so this is a result which is a boolean variable found i simply go here and i hit control plus k and i say is found now this boolean variable serve as a purpose to let me know whether the variable was found or not found so based on this boolean variable i can decide my next course of automation that if the value was available do this if the value was not available not replace do this right so now i have saved this one in a variable which is called is found and in here i can simply use a if activity again this is for the continuous and the long running automations i just say here if the word was found and was replaced i simply want to have a message box maybe now this can be any piece of automation here okay and i just copy and paste it here and this one i would just like to say found okay and this one i would just like to say not found okay now i hit save and in here we are again telling ui part to replace all the tags okay so now i have simply added a boolean whose value is stored in is found variable checking the condition if it is found we say it is found if not found we say not found okay and i still have underscore tag to be replaced and this time i am replacing everything i go here and i simply say run the file automation has started and it has replaced all the text and i have got a message box which is saying the it was found that's good right now let me go back and if i rerun this automation you would notice that underscore tag is no more available right we have already replaced it so this also can be used in situations where you want to rerun the automation and you want to be very sure that whether text was found or not found right so let me quickly go here and i say run the file now what would happen it will again go and try to search for underscore tech which is not available and it is saying not found right so that way i know that my replace text document did not do anything right let me quickly do something else so instead of underscore tech okay let me just put my name here now if you see here this is available here right so if i go here this and run the file okay and it is saying not found now you might be thinking you have put and it was available here but do you notice here it was an underscore and here it is available right so i'll go here and delete this one save this go here and run the file again it says found and it would have replaced this with rpa previously i had an underscore here right so with the help of this boolean variable you are actually able to know that if the replace text was done or not done okay so i hope you understand how do you use the replace text document in the word automation i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation